Hello everyone and welcome to Art Doctor Quickies. This is a new series where I give you a little prescription for a quick pick-me-up and we look at just one painting. That's right, we're not cutting away, we're not going to look at anything else, we're just going to look at one painting. And today it is Renoir's Moulin de la Galette because I think it will make you happy. So when we first see this little riot of color, we have to ask ourselves, what is going on here? So let's just have a look. Well, we are at an outdoor dance hall. People are sitting around at tables, they're having drinks, they're chatting with each other. And then in the middle ground and in the distance, we can see people are dancing. And in the very kind of back area, we see that there's an orchestra crammed into like a little pavilion. So this is a place called Le Moulin de la Galette and Moulin in French means windmill. It was a place where they made bread. The enterprising owners, instead of selling this beautiful galette, which is the cake made from the flour, with a glass of milk, decided that it would be much more enterprising to sell it with a glass of sweet wine. And then when you're having people drink, you might as well have them dance, and then you might as well charge them entry, and all of a sudden, you're a cabaret. So that's what Moulin de la Galette was. It was a, a famous cabaret in Montmartre, which is a part of Paris now, but was kind of in the country back then. This was primarily a place where locals hung out. Every Sunday from 3 p.m. to midnight, an orchestra would play, and if you had five sous, you could get in and have a table and sit down and chat with your friends. And for an extra four, you could dance. So yes, dancing is extra here. I don't know how they enforce that, but I've been wondering it ever since I found out. Hanging out with all, a lot of the local people were a lot of the artists who had their studios in Montmartre because it was a little bit cheaper and had lots of lovely country views. And Renoir was one of them. This wasn't really a place that was super high class. I mean, it wasn't low class either. Uh, it was described as not being luxurious, but certainly, you know, not a place for vice. The kind of people that hung out there were just people who wanted to relax on a Sunday afternoon, have a lovely fresh baked galette or other pastries, and sit down and have a lovely drink. But even better than that, most people that came there came there every week so basically everybody knew each other and you can see by the kind of happy groups chatting in the foreground that people are familiar with each other they're catching up so it was a family place as well and you can see um, in the left hand corner there are a couple of little kids so little kids running around parents young people everybody in so the people who were posing for this painting were actually regulars of Moulin de la Galette so yes they modeled for Renoir and they had to hold still while he caught particular light and shade on their faces but they hung out there all the time and maybe because of that, Renoir put in some fantastic flirting into the foreground here. The model in the front with the blue and pink striped dress, who kind of our eye goes to first, she's smiling very cheerily at the gentleman in front of her who kind of leans toward her and we can't see his eyes, but he's, he's looking a little intense. So, you know, they might be connecting there. Now the woman standing behind her with her hand on the other shoulder is looking at the guy who's across the table from the first guy. And they're kind of making goo goo eyes at each other. Uh oh. But trouble in paradise, the guy next to that guy is looking with disdain at the first guy. Maybe he's jealous. Maybe he, you know, maybe that's his girlfriend. Who knows what's going on here? And then finally, if you look underneath one of the onlooker's arms, you see just a little bit of a face, a worried face, looking back at the first gentleman. Uh-oh, does somebody fancy him? So in order to get all these young people to pose for him, Renoir had to do some kind of sneaky maneuvers, really. He hung out at Moulin de la Galette all the time, so he found the people he wanted to model, especially the young women. It wasn't kind of a virtuous thing to model for a painter, even if you had all your clothes on. So he would get their mothers on side and buy them cakes and buy their younger children ices and just kind of say, oh, I just think your daughter's so beautiful. Wouldn't she be great in my painting? Oh, of course, madame, she'll have her clothes on. And, you know, he was pretty successful at that. So, you know, I guess you have to kind of be a salesman as well as a painter in this age. One of the things 
I really love about this painting, and that really struck me the first time I saw it, was the beautiful dappled light and how the shadows of the trees falls on everything beneath. From the boater hats to the dresses, you'll see those beautiful changes in color that reflect the changing sunlight, that dappled sunlight through the trees. And that just makes everything seem so beautiful and so real. It's funny because Impressionism took out some of the real from painting. It took out the, the lines that we were used to seeing that kind of made things sharp and clear. But in another way, by focusing not on the form, but on the light, they made things that seemed even more real. Maybe atmospheric is the word. You can almost hear the polkas from the orchestra, the chattering of the crowd, and even the drunken whelps, which of course there would have been. So why should this painting make us happy? It makes me happy because it reminds me of all those lovely dappled sunlight hours I've spent and all the time I've spent in the company of good friends, eating some lovely food, having a wonderful dance, all those wonderful memories. And those are especially precious to me now when those people and those situations for various pandemic reasons are not really able to happen. So I'm sorry if this makes you a bit wistful, but I hope it makes you happy and reminds you that these sun dappled days were there way before we were around and they will come back again. So that's all for this quickie. Check out the link to Melaine de la Galette in the description box and wherever you are, you got this. I'll see you next time.